The idea of uh, going away to Israel came into play in 12th grade. I wouldn't say I thought about it whatsoever. And then, you know, all of a sudden, MTA started uh, having these yeshivas come in and be like, come to our yeshiva. We're going to make you. Uh, we're not going to break you. And I'm just like, what's going on over here? Like, what do they want from me? Like, you know, it's like sort of like this, like, you know, assembly line. Like, I jump into this yeshiva and I come out, I come into the yeshiva being A and I come out being Z, all perfected. And like, I didn't really understand what was going on. And uh, then I started to think about a little why I actually wanted to go to Israel in the first place. Before I can even say which yeshiva I wanted to go to based off of the yeshivas that my friends were choosing or my parents wanted me to go to. And I came to the conclusion that I want to come to Israel because I'm a Jew. I haven't been the best Jew the past couple of years, as I'm talking about in my high school years. And I wanted, I wanted to be a little bit more true to myself and just live up to my utmost potential. And based on the yeshivas that were coming to, uh, to MTA, and, you know, they were telling, come to our yeshiva, this yeshiva, that yeshiva. They were just saying a lot of rules. They were just telling me what I'm going to do once I go to, to their yeshiva. When I'm like, wait, if I'm going to go to Israel and try to figure out religion, Judaism, you know, the source of everything, religion, the purpose of life, I don't really want to be told what to do from 8 o'clock in the morning until 12 o'clock at night and then hopefully like, believe that their system is going to you know, work for me. I want, to, I want a little more freedom to figure it out for myself based on my true self. Okay, so what's Neve really about? And it turns out it's exactly what I was looking for the entire year. It's all truth. It's all freedom. But at the same time, it's a grounded freedom in which you actually embrace the system. It's not a free-for-all which you do whatever you want. There are rules, there are regulations, but they don't tell you what to do based on religion. It's not something that's, you know, you study for your test and you have to get over 65 on the test in order to pass the year. They actually told me, yeah, you know, we, we want you to go to Shir and we want you to be involved in the yeshiva, but to me, it, just, it was a start of some, something so much more. It sounded like there was much more to be gained from. And all of a sudden, a kid from MTA, you know, who usually wouldn't go to, uh, to Neve, it seemed like the perfect place for me. I was like, this is it. This is the place where I just get to be myself and just pursue religion, Yiddishkeit. The all-star lineup came with us you know, uh, to Poland. Uh, it was Rabbi Feldman, Rabbi Harlop, uh, the Mashkiach, Rabbi Blumenfeld, and last but not least, Rabbi Prager. Uh, I, I, there's not enough words to explain how amazing Rabbi Feldman is. He happens to be my Rebbe this year, and he is a god beyond belief. He is honestly, he's in another world, and I, can't, I honestly wish I could explain it further, but I guess you'd have to come to Nevada to see. Uh, there's also Rabbi Harlop, who is the most humble and amazing person, and he comes from an amazing past. And the Mashkiach, of course, who has an amazing story, and when you come to Nevada, I guess you'll hear it too. He comes from a very, very interesting background. One of the most special things about Neve is the, the sense of family that you get um, with your, your fellow Talmidim, you know, your friends that you're hanging out in the dorm, you're learning with, you're, you're doing everything with, and the, the sense of family that you, 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 the connections that you get with the rabbis and their families, and uh, the warmth that, that they give over and their families share, you know, on Shabbos or, or holidays, or whatever it is. Um, it's a very strong sense of family that uh, a lot of other places don't seem to have. I was in Nevei for a month and a half of my Shona Aleph at the end, and still throughout that entire time, my parents were still not really down with it, and. Um, Whatever, I just, you know, tried to explain them the situation and uh, whatever it was. So I got back to America and I think at that point my parents saw, you know, just like the, the changes that I went through during that month and a half just, you know, were like a completely different person than I was when I left or even when I left my other yeshiva just in that small, you know, time period of, you know, just a month and a half, whatever it is. So much happened and, you know, whatever. So uh, either way. Um, they were uh, very much excited for me to come back, which uh, I did. And the only school that I thought I would ever even think of going to was Nevei The reason why Nevei 
was the only school that I can imagine myself going to was because it was a place where they would not shove it down your throat. As time went on, I found myself more in the base medrash, and I was learning Torah that I didn't really know existed. From my elementary school and high school, I, I thought I understood what Judaism was. I found out that I had no idea. So I came back a second year because as I, when I went back, a lot of my friends were still not religious. They brought up more questions and more ideas. ideas. Every day from, from when I leave, from when I go in and from when I leave, I, I come at a different person. The, the reason why I excelled at Neve is because they let you grow. They let you choose what you want to do. You want to learn one time a day? Learn one time a day. You want to learn three times a day? Learn three. You want to learn throughout the day? Learn throughout the day. The rabbis here are amazing rabbis. You'd be surprised. They are extremely patient. At first, I couldn't understand this. You know, sometimes kids come here extremely unmotivated and into all the wrong things and just not wanting to go into the base medrash at all. And these rabbis see what you can become.